One of the most popular requests I get is, Matt, what are your workouts like? And I've got a tab on my YouTube channel of workouts in particular, but it's kind of almost a bit of a question that doesn't apply so much anymore because I'm not working out in the traditional sense for the past few months, and I'm really, really liking this. Uh, here's what I'm kind of talking about is this idea of we have our daily activity, fairly low, we're driving to work, sitting at the desk, and so on, and then it's time to work out, and we have this big spike in activity, really intense, hard activity that we do, which is going for a run or doing our workout, going to the gym, and then afterwards we shower up and we return to the land of low activity level. Nothing wrong with this, I encourage you to do it, I still do it myself much of the time. But there's another option that I've been playing with which I'm really liking and it lends itself very well to Veterano Plus and body weight training in general, which is just to sprinkle activity throughout the day. I think this is what man was meant to do. We didn't work out back in the day. We had activity throughout the day. I once had a guy say, Matt, I don't want work-life balance, I want work-life integration, where the two don't seem to be separate things, but they're integrated. I want the same thing with activity levels. I don't wanna have a life that has this big blocky wedge of activity forced into my schedule, my time frame, where I have to say, okay, life, everybody stop, I gotta go do my workout, and then I get done, I'm like, okay, everybody, time in, time to live life again. No, I want activity to be sprinkled throughout the day. And this has a number of advantages. Scheduling is easier, energy-wise is, is easier, motivation is easier. If you've got a workout, <clears throat> excuse me, find a cold, where you've got to say, okay, I'm gonna bust my ass for an hour, hour and a half, how easy is it to get motivated for that? Really hard. Versus you say, I've got like five to 10 minutes of activity I'm gonna do, that's a lot easier. Here's how I'm doing this. I've got a number of things I do every day. Veterano Plus, check out the ebook at reddeltaproject.com, it's free. We have a primary exercise that we do. We have five other preliminary exercises. I've got some daily Taekwondo stuff I do, and sometimes I just throw in something like a going for a walk or a quick bike ride or something. Thing is, each of these doesn't take a whole lot of time or a whole lot of energy. Each of these takes about five, 10 minutes. That takes about 10 minutes. That could take anywhere from 10 to 20, 30 minutes or whatever. Put it in your schedule throughout the day. Sprinkle it here and there when and where you can. Now, the thing is, a workout feels like it's a lot more because it's a big investment. But if you invest a little bit at a time throughout the day, it doesn't feel as big. But you can actually invest more of yourself into each segment of it as a, with mental focus and energy than if you had this big thing because there's a diminishing rate of return. When you have a two hour workout, your best exercises are going to be in the first 20 minutes or so. And then it's a diminishing rate of return. With this, you're fresh, relatively fresh, each time. So we have another option. I'm not saying this is bad, I'm not saying this is awesome, you have to do it, but we've got both ways to do it, and this way may be a little bit more substantial for increasing your energy level, keeping you mentally focused, and feeling better throughout the day. <clears throat> Excuse the throat. Let me know if you have questions down below. Be fit, live free.